In this video, we're gonna go over the five best platforms that you can buy right now in 2026 to get playing games and weather out the storm. It is my goal in 2026 to reach and help as many gamers as possible while we are in these shortages. And in order to do that, I need you to scroll down and hit that subscribe button. The unfortunate reality is that companies still care about subscriber counts. And if we want our voices heard, we need to grow this channel. So one more time, scroll down, hit the subscribe button. So you wanna build a new PC in 2026 and you don't know what to do, where do you get started? So I'm gonna be making this list in terms of user friendliness, cost, longevity, etc. Just because a lot of people don't have money to screw around and they don't have a lot of time to learn how to tune the RAM. And I'll explain as we go. So the number one thing you want to look for right now is a 9800X3D bundle plus Hynix DDR5 bundle. Now the reason why this is number one is because it requires the least amount of work and it also has a little bit of future proofing and the, even if you get these ones, you can overclock them later on with just a shit ton of voltage and uh, good heat sinks on an Intel platform if you ever decide to, right? Just make sure that when you do buy the bundle, you wanna get Hynix sticks they are selling a lot of Micron and a lot of Samsung ones. And you don't want to get those because if you get those, they're basically no better than the green ones. Now, how do you know if you're getting Hynix in the bundle that you order? The first timing is significantly smaller than the second timing. So 32, 39, 30, 37 etc. You have to go into the actual specs of the RAM of the bundle that you get and check. If you if you see 36 36, nope, 40 40 40, nope, etc. And again, the reason why you want to make sure you get these ones, even if they are these like scammy dual rank ones, is so that you can overclock the piss out of them later if you need to, and you can also just XMP them now. Now number 2 on the list would be the exact same thing, except you go and you hunt 5600 green Hynix DRAM. These sticks right here. Now the reasons why are basically the exact same. This one does require that you know how to tune them because they don't come with an Expo and they don't come with an XMP, but you can also just put a heat sink on them, learn how to tune them, and then overclock the piss out of them, and then this can last you throughout the entire shortage for the next three years. Now I'll put like a uh, number 2.5 here. If you're a very advanced tuner or you have the course, you can take these green PCB sticks on an Intel platform, like a 14900K, and you can overclock the balls out of them, and you can still get that premium compete to gaming experience on a budget. Well, on a budget as of right now, budget. But I would not pair these dual rank scammy sticks with a 14900K, you're selling yourself a bit short there. Now the next best one would be, I'm assuming a lot of people still have some B die lying around from their old 10900Ks. Yeah, anything LGA, lag, LGA 1700, uh, B die. The reason why that's number three is because you can probably find B die on the marketplace for a generally a good price. A lot of people selling their DRAM right now kind of don't know what they have. And LGA, if you pair it with like a secondhand 13900K or a 12900K, that will last you. Like, so LGA 1700 and B die will last you the entire DDR5 generation. Like, if you get this or if you already have this, you're pretty much good for the next three years. You don't really have to worry about DDR5 at all. But again, you have to know plus tune. You gotta know how to tune it. Now, number four is gonna be LGA 1700 
with, um, I want to say Micron Green Sticks. Micron Greens. The reason why this is number four is because you can get Micron, make sure they're Microns, by the way. Not Hynix and not uh, Samsung, probably not. Let's just let's just assume you're not gonna get green B B die sticks, okay? Micron greens, though, however, they overclock very very well and they have very tight sub timings. And you can usually pick them up from an office uh, building or a dumpster or hella cheap from wholesalers or people on Craigslist. Facebook mark, like you can pick these up for so cheap. Basically, number four here, if you wanna go and you wanna build all your friends PCs and rigs right now for as cheap as possible and you know how to tune, number four is your play. Number four here will get you the most FPS for the lowest dollar amount currently. Now number five, I would say would be a 9800X3D with these green micron sticks. And the reason why is because when you're when you're buying a DDR5 on like Facebook Marketplace or whatever, um, these two would cost the same. The seller doesn't know what they're selling, right? So they're, they can sell you 50, they only see 5,600. They don't know what actual die is on the stick. And the problem is these Micron ones overclock very poorly. They have a low return on investment over the long haul. And then you're stuck with them. So you're paying a premium for these Micron green ones and you're gonna get worse FPS than uh, DDR4 B die. So you're paying more and you're getting less. But the reason it's even here is because it is a viable option with 3D chips specifically. I wouldn't use it for anything else just because they do overclock so poorly. But I did get it for $100. So if you can get 32 gigs of 6,000 RAM, 6, RAM for $200, that's Canadian, by the way. Uh, you know, not bad. You can still, you can still, that will last you the rest of the generation. Now the last one that basically nobody's gonna be doing anymore is going to be anything involving DDR5 8000 or greater. Um, DDR5 8000. So like your Aero Lake, your Raptor Lake, all your, basically all your Intel platforms now. Even though it might give you the best gaming performance or the best gaming experience, um, like, so those of us that actually have this already, we're chilling, we're good. But you wouldn't go and you wouldn't buy this now, like a 14900K. And the reason is because, like, you're going to be paying more for that DDR5-8000 than you would a 5090. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. If anything, you would go back and you would buy b die now. Even if you're, like, 15 or 20% less FPS, you're going to save... 200% money like it's just so this so basically the 14900k with DDR5 8000 completely not worth it not viable anymore so now you guys get to tell me what you want to see next do you want to see DDR4 versus DDR5 or do you want to see single rank versus dual rank S versus D or do you want to see what happens when you mismatch green sticks and try to overclock them on a 3D chip? Let me know in the comments below which one of these video ideas interests you the most. If you appreciate content like this that's specifically designed to help gamers get back to gaming regardless of the economic situation, support the channel, join the Discord, and you will get all the behind the scenes upfront information in there as soon as I get it. Going forward, you are also going to want to learn how to tune your machines because you, you might have to get these Micron green ones and you're going to want to know how to make those things sing. Framechasers.org slash education will teach you everything you need to know so that you can outlast this weird DRAM shortage drought. Here on the Frame Chasers channel, we do not whine or complain about anything. We go out and we find these random ass sticks and we make them work. Because what's the goal anyway at the end of the day? It's to play games and to compete as best as we can.
Look at this big bite. Huh? 